Hello folks and welcome back to Survival Challenge here on the No Man's Land. We've got some stuff to do today, so first of all what we'll be doing is just taking the survey over to the BGA. We'll process the survey, we've got 169,000 years almost. And today, what we're going to be doing is, probably tell by the thumbnail, is going to be Battle of the Mowers. We're going to have a look at some mowers set up, so got one mower over there, let's get the, uh, what's it, the forest pickup on it, or yeah, the forest same picker tray, whatever it is, by Matt Truck 921. Also, comparing that to the, this a Colossus Harvester Pack, yeah, I just want to see and compare the two, if we, if we test the Colossus first of all, because that has the potential of being a very good one of potentially working at, what was it, 125 miles an hour? Something along those lines, so... Let's get this emptied. And yeah, so we'll just turn on, yep, liquid slurry in that. Just want to make sure everything's on. Do need to put more sides in here. Yep, turn that on. Turn you on. And yep. Also, we need to move to Goblin, but. Yeah, not too worried about that for the time being. So let's go to. Store and. Position the last one, could have gone right. So yeah, we've got the Colossus 6000 with the 3000 horsepower engine. We've got the Forge Stone Picker. And we've got the biggest, uh, what's it, mower we can get, which is a 6.1 meter chrome mower with the tool height control mod. So yeah, I'll just see how this does. Unfold out and unfold this. I think you potentially do this at 125 miles an hour. Wait a minute, we could use a better trailer, couldn't we? Rather than use the force pickup, which we we'll, would we'll be using with the other mower. Ah, wait a minute, so. We'll detach that, because we don't need that. All we need is a. just a normal trailer with a very large capacity, so. I'm guessing it's going to be enough for a Mac Truck 921 mod, so. Yeah, not these. Ah, it's this one here, the 53 foot. So, yeah, we want not liquid tank and reduce the capacity. We want the tipper body, which can hold a million a litre. So, I'll say we go with black. Let me set this up a sec. So, yeah, I'll get it set up and then we'll reconvene. There we go, so yeah, now we've got the trail all hooked up, so yeah, this should work better, so we will just turn you on. And yeah, we're doing what, 50, 60, 70 miles an hour. Obviously this bit ain't going to be as cut yet, because that was what we recently replanted. But yeah, compared to, what was it, the other option, which could mow at, what, 27 miles an hour? And that's with just the mower itself, not including picking up of anything, so... What do we 
just beat it. Just because just you literally just beat it his hands. He dumb bits. But like of course using the promo reflots, we have to quick big fail. Slight bear option first of all. I want to do some hail, I just want to just do signage act. And even with 50. What was it? 50,000 in bells? We will be hitting that 200 bell limit very quickly, so. so yeah, we're not going to have issues with putting in storage and that. Yeah, I think we'll stick with this first of all. And yeah, we're running at 60,000 litres, so... I think the fairest and best way to do this is to actually go across the fields. And then just cut back around, so... Because, yeah, it's going to be rather messy, I think. Can we hire a work on this? Yes, but it does it at six miles an hour, so no. Yeah, I am liking this as an option. Up to what 60 miles an hour it is a bit iffy, so may may restrict this because yeah, doing power size at 50 miles an hour here, so let's restrict the speed a little bit. I think so. Let's we'll cruise control down. Somewhere like 40 miles an hour. Something a bit more stable. Yeah, well, this is a better solution. Just casually mowing at 40 miles an hour. So yeah, I think let's get this done. It's going to be a little short time now. It wouldn't take us too long on the feet. So yeah, let's get this done. And I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here. So we're going to have a lot of chat.
points. There we go. We are done. So, all in all, I think we got about 3.2 million litres of grass from that. So, not too bad. I did try swapping out the traders, as you may have seen here. So, that sort of works. But, in fairness, in terms with the choices between the two, I prefer to just use the mower and the baiter. But obviously if you want the hay in that, we either need to mow, then to head in bale. So yeah, overall, 1.2 million litres of grass is in there. Not too bad. And in terms of bales, we've got 42 bales, which is 2.1 million litres. So, actually what's on here? Oh, pancakes. Actually what, we can do this as well. Get these all loaded up and sell them. Because, yeah, what we can do with send the pancakes and all that. At the moment, not particularly fuss on when we're selling it. I know we can wait, you know, for a great demand or that, but. Yeah, I was just thinking, just changing things up a little bit, so. That's what we're doing. In terms with. Oh, uh, what's it? Well, we're just generally to sell prices and that. Obviously, if we sell them to automatically sell, I think they take between... I think it's like something like eight that. Obviously, it depends on what economy setting we're on. I think we're on normal. Normal or hard. I think it's normal, so... I think it's 20% and hard is like a 30% cut. 34% cut and then with... On easy, I think it's 10%. And there we go, last of the donuts. Because, yeah, we're still on, on, we're on the goal for 10 million. Obviously, we could have hit that easy by now, but there's things I want to do. Like, example, with the cows. I want to upgrade the cow pens, and actually, I think. You know what? Let's do that. Because got really nothing else to do at the moment in, Ju in June. Skip till July, Nat. So yeah, once we sell this, let's go and skip ahead. Because I've only recently topped up the cows, so... Look at our animals, cows, yeah, they're topped up. So once they're done with the food... I'll sell the cow pen, sell the cows. Especially where they're hitting 36 bumps, so their food rate's gonna go up now, so... Yeah, have another fresh batch of year old cat will that buy from a farmer nearby or whatever. So yeah, let's go and sell this. Obviously, yeah, those big bags have been a huge benefit just to play somewhere the pads spawn in that and just crack on things. I know we've got what two here. But yeah, so Going on strap them. Let's get these sold. There we go. Title profit of about a hundred grand. Or eighty six grand to be exact. So yeah. Let's skip ahead and see How we're doing with the cows and that then so skip ahead and there we go apparently we've got no space for eggs oh, that's the thing with this yeah it's fine now it's just now perhaps didn't help had it all on the wrong side but yeah, that is what, 117, yeah, 170, not 17, thousand years of eggs. Could have had more eggs spawning. But yeah, we're just raking in the money with these chickens. That's why I love doing chickens. It is such a useful thing to do. Come on, that's eggs. So if I move you over there. Man, yeah, so it's skip ahead an hour just to see the pallets spawning because I may have to reposition where I have this 
Whoa, cause it's eggs. But yeah, if we leave them there, it is consuming all the pallets, so you know what? I am happy with that. And that is 184,000 litres or so. But anyways, I'm not I'm not fuss on fertilizing the grass fields. How's our crops doing? Well, we do have a harvest ready. What's that for the barley? Is the barley we did? So yeah, that'll be for the flower production, so we'll get cracking on that. Oh, no more space for the sheep and that. Oh! Whoa, accident. <laughs> Left on time 360 there. Whoopsie! Oh, yep. A lot of wool. Wait a minute, didn't we have a big bag down here? I thought we did. How's our fee situation? But yeah, let me get a big bag for these walls. Eh? And there we go, just racing across our fields. Get a bit screwy there. Knock it back a little bit. And also, actually, how. Yeah, 190,000 litres or so. That's doing good. Having no more issues with the eggs and that. But now let's go and pick up all this wool, so. There we go. Should be all saluted. Ah, this is going to be on the ground. Maybe, so. Oops. There we go, now we're picking up all the wool. That is 12,000 litres. 18,000 litres, so 36,000 litres we'll have in total. So, yeah, 36,000 litres, we'll get this. I think honestly we can leave it just here. Right, let, let the pallets spawn in that. Have two of these down, so... Skip ahead another hour, this time make sure not to leave on times 360. Ah, right, so maybe these are some of these pallets that didn't spawn. Oh, wrong side. But yeah, leave something like that. Leave them um, on the side, perhaps, but I don't know. Anyways, let me get this all dude up, and then I'll figure out where we will put these two in terms of which production, uh, which production needs to wall at the moment. So after I have a look, we can do we're putting some of the wall into the spinnery by our grape area. Fabric and that, we're doing good at the moment. Fabric is good. Fair as I could do with wool as well at the farm factory, so I think no more. Let's put this in the farm factory. Just because we have a great rate of oof, producing these uh, clothes and that. There we go. Pop that in there. Pop in. We have 47,000 litres of wool. But yeah, we need to get cracking on with those cows now to get done before we do any harvesting or anything. We get harvesting, that shouldn't take us too long to do. And we'll collect the straw. Well, I think the straw actually what we're going to do is just whack it into the. Get a screen there. That goes into here. What's all this we've got here? Clothes. Ooh. A ton of clothes there. So, yeah, that's having some all being put in. Go, that's about half. 
And for the other half, we'll put into the other spinning room over here. So what I've got done now is I picked up this. This is the uh, what's it? The auger cart as part of the Disney Course pack, and I have purchased it. So here's as I could. I made like a portable mini slide for a single crop. But yeah, I've gone and purchased this because it was the biggest order I could think of that would fit the manure. So, because I do have the manure order pack enabled, but they only go up to what, 45, 50,000 litres, and we've got about 60,000 litres at the moment. Because yeah, the plan is sell these cows and then put a brand new, at least one, maybe for two pens in. The one I'm thinking of can hold 750 cow. So that is pretty much, got about 400 cows at the moment, so that is pretty much doubling how much cow we've got. So the amount of slurry in that is going to be hectic. Slurry, manure, and milk hopefully. So let's go over here. We do need to remove the bell storage sheds, but that is no issues whatsoever. There we go. Fill up the manure. That's good thing is you can just go over here, press L3, and you're collecting the manure. There we go, with the manure gone, so now start selling some needs to sell the cows obviously. Sell the liquid manure extensions. I've got the milk hand I mean, liquid yeah, milk hand liquid manure to Surrey over there. I do need to sell this building, but first of all quick sell the cow, so Buy cows, Christ. Sell the maximum. So, yeah, I'll try how much we made there in total, but now. Sell the bell storage. And we'll sell this. Oh yeah. Sell the milk extension. So yeah, let me just quickly move all these stuff about. So because yeah, I'm thinking it's gonna be somewhere here. I'm gonna move it a bit closer because we have a, a lot of real real estate space over here, so there we go, just send that there. Oh, we need to sell the jet washer. Not a problem. Uh, are those bells going to be in the way, though? I do not know. So, fortunately, we do have some true add TMR already here. And if you need more TMR, we've got like five million years almost being produced. That could even fill up with, ah, uh, was it digesty? Make a good old meal out of that. And yeah, this old John Deere, this thing is a little faithful, the A410. The contractor I do end up, funny enough, using a lot of my series, but I think it's a good little tractor. It's not the best turning radius or the most powerful. But for bang for the buck, as a little workaround, especially on maps like this where it doesn't require too much lane work, ain't a bad thing. So, where is it to? This one here. So, yeah, I'm thinking, what do you go with two? Could do. Overlaps with an object. Ah, so those bells, I think. Surely not. Don't have anything else here, don't I? 
Ah, it's that bloody tree, that's why. Bear me a sec whilst I move that. There we go. Move that tree and, you know, just moving. I'm always going to move those bells over there, but I thought, whilst I got this out, borrowed it. But I had to borrow it twice, so that's in the. First of all, it's the non auto loading function. We yeah, have all just quickly move these and these will hold. We're at 30% with 13 bells, so. Say 42 bells. And uh, we've produced. Ah, yeah. I think about 42 bells at the moment, so. Yeah, it was 42 bells, 2.1 milliliters, so. This is the perfect amount, and yeah, I'm gonna go around collecting it all. And well, we could use some of this to chuck into the BGA in that. Yeah, 50,000 year bells. They'll last a fair while, I would say. So yeah, there we go, bells are collected. And yeah, we will be encroaching on the grass field, but yeah, I'm thinking, why not? Let's go with 1,500 cows. Also, first of all, I don't know if we can double our cows cow counts, but now I'm thinking, let's quadruple it, so... Yeah, because I don't think we've got the TMR now. I've got stuff here to reduce said cattle, so... 350 grand each. I do not know why I still say it all collided with object. It's going to be a bit terraforming, so... Let's go here. Like so. Boom. Ah, yeah. So oh, there's another tree crying out loud. Oh, where are these trees coming from, though, as well? That's another thing I want to know is where all these trees are coming from. So, why? Tell me, uh, could be one small tree to be cut down, but who knows? So, you yeah, go into our was it sugar king? Not sugar king, sugar beet field. Yeah, back to animals. Cows. Why are you still saying colliding with objects? Oh, don't tell me it's the bits of grass and that. Oh, you know what? Screw it. Um, we're just going to place it like so. Oh, no. Yeah, it's these bits of grass we... No. Shouldn't be, but... The frick knows. Because, yeah, there is some landscaping involved with this, so... And this one's going this way. But, yeah, it's just... It's got to be the grass. Got to be. It's not the bells. You know what? Give me a few moments. I need to figure out this, because... None of this is making sense whatsoever. Well, we've got that sorted, and yeah, now just doing some little like detailing, so happy with that. Just go and paint this, but yeah, landscaping must be something with the grass and that because there was nothing in it, so frick knows, but anyways, I am happy now. And yeah, again, just a little, a little bit of detailing. There we go, plant some of the odd trees here and there. Just to make it a bit more vibrant this area here, so... How much... yeah, they require a lot of stuff I'm sure of, so... 750 cows, so... We want milking cows, so... This is going to be a long process, so... Rather than you folks watch me doing this, I'm just going to jump cut, so yeah, I'll get all the cows in, get them all fed, 
it's going to be 750 each so 1500 cows in total so yeah bear me a sec whilst i get all this sorted and there we go down to five million so we fill this up to one <coughs> one half million a year so each of these requires let's have a little look here 100,000 years of feed and 75,000 years of straw so for the first one I went with Holstein cows and the other one I went with brown swiss and I was thinking something like it was like 2 million for each pen it was one very close to that like a million or so but yeah so also to be doing this little work so for this one here I've added the manure heap properly and a surrey tank extension for this one i didn't put a surrey extension because i couldn't really find a good spot for it so we've still got the manure heap and the milk extension so actually i'll see what our consumption rate is per month so there we go how much do they consume so 8,000 litres of, was it TMR almost a month, an hour, and just over 2,000 litres a month, an hour, so for straw that is, what, 2, 20, 40, about 48,000 litres a month, so not too bad. And TMR, 7,700 litres. That is 185,000 euros a month. That's for each pen, so... We're going to need TMR being on production. That's a good thing I switch that production on, so... And how much milk and serving that we get, so... Comparing 5,000 euros of surrey, so... Not too bad. So you know what? Let's skip ahead a little bit rejoin tomorrow and then I think we'll finish off the episode here by doing the harvesting and there we go it's the next day I just thought quickly put the last bit of str straw in here so yeah they're all topped up with feeds and overnight we got 58,000 litres of milk so that is 117,000 litres of milk and 200,000 euros off Surrey, so you know what? I think I can call that a <coughs> rather good success here. So, yeah, we'll do the harvesting in a sec. But first of all, I'll also transport the stuff over. So, first of all, we'll grab the Surrey and it shows us how much manure did we get as well. 76,000 litres, so not too shabby. Now, all is from 12 hours almost, or just over 12 hours. Yeah, I think it was 16 hours, but still, not too bad. <coughs> and not the question is how is can we keep up with this? So, ooh. That does remind me, I've left that on, so grass has been consumed. We need to make silage, so I'm going to make some silage with some of that hay. But yeah, TMR is back up to 4 million litres, so not too bad. How much digestive we've got? 76,000 litres. What seeds we'll sell, we're not too fuss on that. And yeah, whilst I fill this up, and then we'll head over to the BG area, and then we'll grab the harvester. And there we go, so I've got the manure surreys over here, but disaster, I completely forgot it was barley, how we've missed the harvesting window for the barley. 
literally had one month to harvest it, so now it's all withered up, so yay, that is absolutely lovely, so yeah, I can't believe I've done that, like seriously. They may spawn a little another trader, just to you for the north. Uh, what I'm just going to do is fill up these PGAs with manure and slurry. And yeah, grab the. Actually, we could use this, couldn't we? Now, uh, leave it there. Leave. I want to try to keep some of this separate as possible, so. Let's grab you. Just, yeah, let's grab the size bells, so just get yeah, these are what 50 fascinating bells each. And technically we can mow again if we want to. But if we do that, I'll perhaps do it off camera and that like seriously like Yeah, I think I'll do the being off camera and that because it's been done so many times and that. Well, like it does get a bit tedious after a while and most of the time with the bait is on off camera because we try to do a time lapse. Even try to keep it to two to three minutes at most. Just because of how vast of a grass area we've got. Even now where it's being trimmed down a bit with all the cows and that. Speaking of grass, what are you doing there? So boop. There we go. But yeah, this grass is ready to harvest. Uh, what I may do a bit cheeky is put a bit of fertilizer on it first of all. I did harvest it, but... So yeah, let's head over to the BGA. And there we go. So yeah, the manure has been put in. So now what I'm going to do here is something a bit cheeky. Gee, I want to see, do we need to tip these bells in? Or can we just say put them here? And then consume it. And what the best we can do is just whack these bells in. And yeah, like seriously, with so much bells we've got, we can literally just overfill these. Keep them bolted up in that. For a while we've been just like running low on the side this year, so that's why I did these size bells, like yeah, we can use the size to get TMR. But worst case scenario, if we're in desperate need of TMR over a course of a month or two, I'm going to just buy TMR outright in bulk, so there we go. And I think since we can't do the harvest now. I think what we'll do is we'll cultivate that field and then yeah, cultivate it, skip to September. And then yeah, get the next bit of barley planted and I think in the next episode as well. Grapes may be ready. Cotton may be ready. Or oh, nope. The groups may be ready. If, yeah. Yeah, I think groups will be ready. But anyway, so let's get all this done. And I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here, because this is going to be a lot of work involved.
are done. So, what we should do now is just do the roll in. This won't take us too long for this. Compared to everything else, relatively small field. The only thing we'll do is get a worker on this and then we can do the fertilizing in the next episode. But yeah, so we're back up to 9.1 million pounds. And that's because of all the work we've done, like selling the milk, selling all of the digestate, so it was like 1.7 million litres of digestate in total, I think it was, give or take. And yeah, just other stuff from our productions and that, so overall, I think we're rather looking good actually. Got everything all set up. Get work on this, and yeah, it's been putting the manure in, putting the sludge bells in. There we go. So yeah, we'll have a look here. Just filling up with the manure. I think like getting the manure in is a bit of a iffy task. It is it's like to trigger. It's a bit weird, but there we go. Slightly repositioned it, and it works perfectly fine. So that needs manure. Does this need manure? Uh, a little bit of manure, but if we run out of manure, I struggle up some more by the cows. Actually, I don't know. Let's go and quickly check that. So, go to our cows. Yeah, we've got a little bit of manure here, so. 15,000 litres here, and I think we've got a little bit more on the side there, so. Yeah, overall, not too bad. Bit of a long episode. Maybe, depending on how long I've been going on for, like, for this section here, three hours, so about six hours of recording, five hours of working, but all in all, it's worth it. So next time, we've got silage to sort out, well, I should know, it would be grass and hay, I think this grass will be, but that would be done off camera, because, yeah, do need to fertilise it, we'll fertilise this field in the start of next episode. Rolled in. That's all that needs to do in on that field to get to the perfect 100 score, hopefully. And if we look at our crops, if we want to chaff the corn, that is ready to chaff, but we're not going to chaff it. We're going to be using it for corn oil, actually, no, not corn oil, uh, for cereal production. So, but the majority of our vineyard is ready to harvest. So, That'll be what we look forward to, and I think on that note, that's where I'm going to leave it today, so huge, huge work ahead of us, it's all going to be worth it, but anyways, that's where I'm going to leave it today, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode, if so, smash that button, feel free to comment down below, if you want to share some, please be my guest, if you're not to subscribe to yet, then please consider, but for you to do, Hope you're nice day, but for now, it's me Farmer Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.